brand new video. Today I am reviewing Hobbs and Shaw. Now Hobbs and Shaw was a movie I was always going to watch in cinemas even though some people are gonna say oh why it's a spin-off movie you know Fast and Furious is really bad especially since Paul Walker is passing and um, they haven't really treated it with respect and whatnot but I'm always gonna watch the Fast and Furious movies with my mate James because we saw starting from six we saw everyone together and you know why not it's a tradition I'm gonna continue to watch it so Hobbs and Shaw I went in not expecting much from it I was just expecting expecting a modern day 80s action flick where I just eat my popcorn and then I just enjoy the movie and really yeah I just enjoyed the movie it was fun it was at times too long too boring or just bland in certain areas but the action was entertaining um, the characters were somewhat over the top but the buddy comedy between The Rock and Jason Statham was always fun and then he throw in Kevin Hart for a little cameo. I won't spoil what he does but you know watch out for him if you're going to watch the movie and uh, it's just so much fun. Idris Elba is a great villain and I just love Black Superman. That's what I'm going to call him because that's what he calls himself. He is Black Superman and it feels really good. It doesn't feel so out of place on the whole universe because since the first Fast and Furious movie, the movies have been progressively getting a little more over the top and over the top. So, you know, this is a nice addition to the franchise and it's suddenly entertaining to watch and a good movie. Now, that said, there are many problems with the film itself. The pacing is at times really bad. Uh, the actual film itself feels like it goes for, on for way too long and while the action at the finale is great, to say the least, it's actually very entertaining and I love how it ties the whole um, Samoan tradition and all that culture with the film itself. Um, there are just too many points in between which just feels too forced with what's going on and a little bit of a cliche in a bad way. And I don't really think that's too much of a problem because I never went into this movie expecting it to be groundbreaking or anything of the such. So overall this movie is a great enjoyable film and I, there's not much I can say about it. I say if you want to just go into the cinema and enjoy an action flick go do that otherwise you know you can skip this movie and watch it when it comes out um, on DVD or online or whatever so I'm going to give um, Hobbs and Shaw a 5.5 or a 6 out of 10. It's suddenly entertaining and considering that The Rock is pulling down a helicopter with a chain with his bare hands I suddenly got a good a smile, a laugh out of the banter as well and everything about it was just overall a pleasure to watch. Thanks for watching everyone, it's a short video for this review because there's not much to talk about but if you've enjoyed it make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos every week. Make sure you also leave a comment down below on whether or not you've seen Hobbs and Shaw and what did you like about it, what didn't you like. And until next time, I'll see you guys.